that was Dean. I'm back in again with yet another video. So this is obviously by the title, a list of authors that I've never read from. This is going to be like a series because um, there's a lot of books that I want to read from authors, but I want to check out all of their work. So um, my face is very befitting for today because it's Blackathon and um, today is February 15th. I created this look for um, day three of the Instagram challenges. So today was the start of um, day one, but I just want to recreate any um, makeup looks so that way I don't have to like do it on that specific day because that's a lot of makeup to be doing in multiple days. Anyway, um, and it's very befitting because on my face is mostly black makeup brands. Well, actually all of it is black makeup brands. I have um, Colored Rain, which is black owned, Fenty Beauty, and Juvia's Place all on my face. And those are black um, owned makeup brands. So it's perfect for Blackathon, for Blackathon challenges. So let's actually get into what this video is about. So obviously by the title, and I already just said it, but I, um, the rules for this is that I have picked up some of their books, but may have um, DNF'd it at some point, or I stopped reading the book at some point. And I, and even though in his thing, just because I DNF'd it doesn't mean that I didn't enjoy it. Because sometimes I did enjoy, but it's like, I don't know, maybe another book distracted me from reading it at that point in time. But, um, and sometimes here's the thing, another thing that makes me stop from reading is, or reading from that author, is because they're overhyped. And once the hype dials down, that's when I want to start reading. That, Plus, it might be in, they might write a genre that I'm not ready for. That's basically it. Like, for example, certain subgenres, like, there's certain subgenres that I would like to explore, but I'm not ready yet, um, which I'll explain for later on for some of them. And it's not a genre that I would, you know, gravitate towards, you know? I'm going to have to, like, force myself through until, and here's the thing, sometimes, sometimes, there might be some things that I have, um, some genres, but if it's a book that almost everybody loves, even if it is overhyped, when I wait for the hype to kind of die down just a little bit, just a little bit, I might check it out. But for the most part, it's just that I've heard of them, but I haven't gotten around to, you know, reading from them. So those are, you know, the rules for this. So let's start with uh, um, Leah Bardugo. So here's the thing. I've tried getting into the Grisha trilogy, but I barely made it past 100 pages in her first book. And I don't know if it's because of the big and small spoilers that I know prevents me from reading the series or it's just a writing style and I'm annoyed by YA nowadays. Um, the same, the same goes for Six of Crows, um, duology. So, um, I'm sorry, um, even though I'm more interested in this duology than um, the Grisha trilogy, even though they take place in like the same universe, the same world, I, like I said, I'm not that into spoilers, which gets into my next one. Um, the Ninth House. I actually own Ninth House. I <laughs> I started reading this in November. Barely got past page 60. Um, I mean, listen, I'm going to read it. I know it because I want to love it so much and all this hype, all this controversy around it. But again, it's the same problem um, with when it comes to spoilers and trigger warnings. Um, I already mentioned this plenty of times in the past, but trigger warnings are um, spoilers to me. And it's because of that, I am very hesitant to read um, The Ninth House because I'm the type of person who sees, you know, trigger warnings and spoilers. So that's it for Lee Bardugo. Next, we have Victoria, AKA V.E. Swab. V.E. Swab is like her pen name, but um, Victoria Schwab, I think is for her. Um, I think Victoria Swab is for her, you know, juvenile slash YA series versus V.E. Swab is more for her adult novels. But I'm actually a lot more interested in um, her adult and juvenile um, books her YA books doesn't interest me at all like for example she wrote the um the book series the um savage the savage song it's a duality I'm not interested in that um there's also another YA series that she wrote I don't care for that but the juvenile one it has to do with like um this girl who can see ghosts and I think her parents are ghost hunters and all that stuff and it's like each book is a um is a new adventure you know I think for the most recent one that's um that's brand new that came out has to do with her going to Paris and you know how um, Paris has like you know the sea of the dead underneath it's you know the catacombs so I'm very interested in reading about that and her adult series I'm very much interested in reading about vicious as well as um a darker shade of magic but that's basically it um I know she has another book that I'm interested in but mm, it's not it's not there for me yet I have to you know look into her stuff to see if I'm at all interested in VE swab so the next one is not go now this um person um, I got introduced to by Oshi oh Reads, and she is, um, I actually own one of her books called Is She the Reason because of Oshilay from Oshi oh Reads. Um, she loves that book, and she always gives this book um, high praises, so that's why I bought it immediately <laughs> on the Kindle app. So, and I also want to read, um, to try The Connects Wife, but um, I only got 20 to 25 pages in. My library, I had to like return it back to my library, so, and I don't think my library has 
all of the series because the connect's wife is actually part of the series um there's that then there's um gloria nyler now she is a classic um i really i actually own one of her books called um linden heights i i'm really interested to see how that goes i know that is like um a retelling of dante's inferno and there's other books like mama day that i'm really interested in reading i'm also interested in reading um what was it oh if bill street no not if bill street could talk that's james baldwin it's something to do with a cafe the woman of bureau's cafe or something i know that it's very dark it has to do with rape and all that um and like misogyny and all that massage noir it's it's a lot it's a lot she's a heavy um kicker but i'm interested in reading from her um the next person is river solomon they um recently um posted well actually made a book with other people an anthology called the deep i just finished the deep it's okay this is something that you need to listen to the audiobook on because if i had read it i don't think i would have enjoyed it to be honest the audiobook made it a lot more enjoyable enough for me but um so far i like it but the thing um but the book that i really want to read from them is um is um ooh, in a kindness of ghost i this has been on my tbr since i heard it last year i really want to get to it she only i mean i'm sorry um they only posted um published um two books i already got one down i really really want to read in a kindness of ghost by them anyway another um author that i want to get into is sky um and that's with two y's um she is a lesbian um urban author um so far i'm i know that there's there's the choices series that she writes and not to mention there's a um collaboration that she did called um Littell's tempted to judge and that too is like a lesbian drama a black lesbian drama with like and stuff and i really want to get into that but i don't know which one to start first i think i'm gonna go with the collaboration to see how it is but it's a collaboration so that's like four different because it's four people on the collaboration i forgot who the other women are my bad but it's like that's a lot of voices to make one story and i'm not too sure you know how i well you know sometimes when you got that many people to write a singular story it's a bit off but considering the deep is with multiple people creating a singular story even though that's an anthology but this is different this is like just one book not an anthology so i'll have to see now speaking of other authors i really want to get into james baldwin i just want to thank <laughs> a special friend of mine who gifted me um most of the james baldwin collection in ebook format and stuff so i gotta get onto it you know um he gifted me it i think he also gifted me one of the um audiobooks for some of them I'll have to double check. I have to double check. So thank you to that special friend. <laughs> he knows who he is. Anyway, um, but I have to get onto it. There's so many books that I want to read from James Baldwin, but considering that, you know, the special friend gave me a whole bunch of books, I need to get onto it. Um, the next one is Nikki um Duren. I think she she has what? So far there's two books I want to read from her and two of them I actually own. It is um Temper as well as The Prey of Gods. Um temper i think is more of a low fantasy i think i'll have to double check and the prey of gods is more of a um low fantasy sci-fi afrofuturism kind of kind of deal and um who was it oh it was because of um oh my gosh oh my goodness i will link down her review down below but like um a another booktuber was raving about this and she went live um to go to talk about the prey of gods and that's what made me instantly buy it at my thrift store so i was like mm, that's my book now and i've been really i really want to get into her book so is it wise of me to buy two of her books without knowing if i like her writing style and stuff no but i want to see but temper it has it's been on my tbr longer than her other books and my god her covers are so beautiful so beautiful and of course all of these authors i will link down below um they're good reads so you can like check out all their books another person that i would like to read from is um phoebe robinson um she is on two black queens on hbo and she actually made two books um two books um one is um everything is trash but that's okay and also you can't touch my hair and other things i shouldn't have to tell you <laughs> um i think for you can't touch my hair i got the yes i just got the audiobook and of course i have another special friend who gifted me two of her books so technically i own both of them and i want to get onto it and i've heard from um brown girl reading that she that it's kind of better to read to read it with the audiobook because she's reading it to you and it, every pun that she makes in the book is going to make you laugh and stuff so i can't wait now now this one this one this one now this author is called um e lynn um harris um he died unfortunately so it's not like we'll get a whole bunch of new books but but he did leave behind a whole bunch of books now most of his writing centers around you know gay males um 
since the author himself is a gay male. I know that there's a series that I want to get into, but there's a standalone that reading for Blackathon called um, Basketball Jones. And this is going to be my introduction to his stuff. I know there's a trilogy that he has. So yeah, this is mostly own voices. He also has another trilogy or no, another book series. I don't know if it's a trilogy or not, but it centers around a woman who's trying to make it into the music industry. I don't know about that one. I'm more interested in I'll have to like reread the synopsis to see if I'm interested, but I am more interested in basketball drones right now. I have the book, so um, so I'm really really excited. Now, next is um, Love Velvet. Again, this is another suggestion by Oshile from Oshi Reads. Um, so I am interested in the Connecticut King series. I own the first book, and this is more of a um, sports romance. Who knew? Like, again, this is remember how earlier on I tend to like avoid certain um genres because well because of certain authors I tend to you know, avoid them because of the genres that they write. Now, here's the thing. She writes romance, and obviously romance, I mean, sports romance isn't her thing, but I know that this is, like, her most popular ones, at least from my, the general consensus from the reviews and stuff. So, I'm starting off with that one. I'm worried, but <laughs> I really want to get into that. Um, speaking of um, another romance author, another Black romance author, um, Maureen Smith. Now, all of her books interest me, but of course, I'm starting with the sports romance, and that is the um, Wicked Rebels. I think that's what it's called. No, the book is called Wicked. No, the book is called Wicked Games. That's the one I own. And I think it's part of the Rebels series. Either way, it has to do with hockey players and their black wife. <laughs> well, or like the black romance, their black female romance um, trope. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see people who look like me on as a you know heroine but i'm starting out with you know again another sports romance here's the thing last year this would have never happened in fact last year was the first time i've ever read a sports romance and, and actually enjoyed it so again we're i'm entering new territory you guys so anyway i am excited to read from that the next and last person in this is yvonne winter now check my face so this is actually inspired by one of his, well, one of the only books that he has posted, because he only posted one book, but he is so hyped up by the fantasy community that I am hyped to read this book, and that is, hold on, The Rage of Dragons. Now, sorry about the glare. Now, this is a thick boy, <laughs> and I'm excited because it's like, the fantasy community has been like, like upping him up, because apparently, it's like, how can I say this? From what I've seen from the fantasy community, it's almost as if this isn't his first time, you know, creating a book. Um, he has, I guess, the, according to, again, not my words, according to the fantasy community, he has the experience slash um, the voice slash, well, the author's voice slash, I feel like the essence of fantasy that most fantasy writers take years to get, but he seems to get all of that within one book, and this is his first book. And I just found out on Twitter that um, he just signed a four book deal. So I don't know if this is four more books, so that's making it five books in total, or just, you know, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm excited. Um, hopefully I like this book. And again, this is actually another genre that I don't explore much, which is military fantasy. Here's the thing. I'm nervous. I'm very nervous about this. Very much nervous. I think maybe the Poppy War might be considered, um, has elements of, you know, military fantasy, but I'm not too sure. Um, I hadn't read enough military fantasy to, like, view it, to see it. Maybe it is. Because you know how, you know, a book can have multiple genres, but, you know, maybe it does. But if it's anything like the Poppy War, where it's graphic and stuff, I'm here for it. And, and not to mention, this is a um, revenge quest, which technically I've read plenty of revenge quests. But this is my first time seeing it in a military fantasy. But that is it, a part one of a multi-part series. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, hopefully you guys have a nice blackout slash, you know, blackathon day. And I'm out. Enjoy reading. Uh, read a book, read a